Good morning. Today we're here at Target. We're going to check out some of the prices, some of the food shortage problems that we've been having all over the country. Uh, we've been getting a lot of comments lately on things missing everywhere. We're going to check uh, some of the paper products, pet food, all that good stuff. Let's get to it. Now I know Target doesn't have as many groceries as most stores, but it is another option. One thing we are also going to check on is prices. We have noticed all around, at least Cincinnati, Ohio, where we are here, prices have kind of gone through the roof. Now, some stuff being 20 cents here, 20 cents there, even some products being up to a dollar more. Always trying to find the best deals for you guys. And another thing, we always try to find some of the stuff in the stores that you guys are looking for so that you know maybe a possibility of you ordering it online or something like that. We try to cover everything that we can. One thing I wanted to point out right away is they have plenty of toilet paper here at Target. Most of it is Charmin. They do have a lot of Cottonelle, which is good to see. They have these huge packs, 25, 49, 120 regular rolls of 30 mega rolls. That's actually not a bad deal. That's really not that bad. I believe a lot of toilet paper companies are starting to up their game. That could be why a lot has been missing because they're producing bigger packs. We have not seen these, but you guys have left comments uh, on the channel here about bigger packs of toilet paper. Also, I just witnessed two people arguing about bounty paper towels. This lady had a stack of paper towels and somebody walks by. I'm not sure what they said. I think they might have said something about how much he's buying and that's that's why we're running low we can't judge people I, I heard her saying that she's getting this stuff for other people so you know and, and even at that she has every right to buy everything she wants we can't we can't judge people you know this is something i may discuss on the live show tonight this video will be coming out friday we will have the live show at 7 p.m Eastern time tonight, and that is one of the things that I'm going to kind of discuss. Really cheap, 99 cent for a pack of toilet paper, but it is very tiny. So, I don't know, I guess if you're in a pinch or something and don't have a lot of money to spend on toilet paper, it's worth it. It's better than newspaper. Now, as we've always seen at our Target, they are full of bounty paper towels. Less than what we saw a couple weeks ago. But they have no limits on this. You can buy however much you want. You guys know on this channel, I always say, you know, leave some for your neighbors. Don't don't buy too much because we know it's a problem right now. And we want our neighbors and friends to be able to buy some. But I don't judge anybody. I don't ever say nothing to nobody. Uh, sometimes when you see a lot of stuff like that, you may think in your head, like, you know, yeah, you're buying 20 things of paper towels. That's a little crazy. But you know what? We don't know the reason why they're buying them. We don't know why they, they could be buying them all for themselves or they could be buying for their grandma or mother or family members. You know, we don't know that. One issue that we have seen everywhere is garbage bags. We, we've noticed that garbage bags have kind of taken a pretty big hit, even at Sam's Club. We saw that Sam's Club was pretty low on garbage bags. Now they do have their own up and up brand in, which we haven't seen in a while. So they may be starting to get these back in. This is the most Ziploc bags that I've seen in any store in a long time. And they have their cheaper um, up and up version, the Target brand. Got a bunch of these in. These have always been gone. These have been gone for months. Now we had seen that Kroger had next to no tissues, um, which honestly, they got quite a bit here. I'm actually kind of surprised. The last time we were here, there wasn't much. Uh, people have said, a lot of people have said that they haven't been able to find a lot of tissues. Well, that's understandable with everything going on, and it is January. The thing that has been missing lately is a lot of dairy-type products. We uh, had to buy the smaller thing of the Daisy Sour Cream at Meyer the other day. Also, uh, no prices on this, so I really don't know what it is. They do have the packet. So they need to clean one up there. They only have the Daisy Light and the Squeeze Packet. Some of you guys are mentioning the Daisy Sour Cream. That's why I wanted to point this out. It is low. Very low. It's low here at Target. It was very low next to none at Meyer. As we can see here, butter is taking a pretty good hit here too. Usually they hit this whole thing is full of butter. Uh, they do have the Land O'Lakes that some people have asked about. I don't know about the unsalted. 
and they have the Land of Lakes butter with canola. Only 439, but that is a pretty small thing of it. We do have some holes here at Target as usual, but I will say this is a lot more full than the other day when we were here. Now bacon, bacon seems to be something that they have trouble getting in anyway. Uh, not much here, but I will say the Oscar Mayer is a little cheaper here than it was at Kroger yesterday. Kroger's is selling it for $9.99. It's $8.49 here. I wanted to show the Good and Gather brand here, which is a Target brand. 80-20 fat. Uh, 32 ounces, so that's 2 pounds for $11.19. And we know it's going to be a little more expensive here at Target, but sheesh, that's a little crazy. $6 a pound for hamburger. Plus, $11.99 for not even a pound of stew. So, well, this is the sirloin strip. Sirloin steak strips, so still a little pricey for that. Not even a pound for 12 bucks. Not that they usually have too much anyway, especially here at this Target, but they do have a three pound bag of navel oranges here for $4.19, which really isn't that bad of a deal all considering. Also, you can buy a single orange for 79 cents. We saw that they're a dollar a piece at Kroger. These berries here, this better berry, I don't know, but I would not buy any of these strawberries. They just do not look good. They look too, I don't know. The tops have a lot of white on them, not much red. Uh, they're $3.29. The blueberries look okay. Uh, they are some pretty big blueberries. $2.99 for that also isn't too bad. The raspberries look a little wilted. Blackberries look okay. So me and Jessica have agreed that we're not gonna buy any lettuce until after all these recalls stop. There's been a lot of lettuce recalled lately, uh, mostly the bagged lettuce. Haven't heard anything about uh, any iceberg lettuce, heads of lettuce or anything like that, but you know, with all this going on, lots and lots, Kroger brands, Dole brands, all kinds have been recalled lately. So we're gonna take a break from lettuce for about a month. And that's hard for people like us because we like having a salad with every meal. I'm starting to wonder if Target is kind of suffering from major employee shortages here because these signs were up like two weeks ago and it's not even the stuff that's in here. They have these Uncrustables, which they have no price for, and some boneless turkey breasts. None of this is what these prices are. I do think it's kind of funny that people were talking about yogurt and now all of a sudden we're seeing a major hit on yogurt and the ones that most of you guys were talking about were Giovanni. Now this is pretty much all we're seeing is Giovanni, um, at least here in Cincinnati. They do have some of the big jugs that uh, some people have talked about. Now we saw a couple weeks ago that their milk was completely empty, so it's really good to see that they're getting that back in. They do have a lot of it too. Of you guys were talking about coffee creamers they do have more coffee creamers than they did here the other day but some of you guys were talking about like coffee mate being very low uh, the refrigerated kind and I will say they have more here than they had a couple weeks ago but we know that this has been something that has been missing pretty much everywhere I don't know if they can even afford to have the lights on anymore <laughs> a lot of stuff missing here in the freezer aisle the funny thing is, is they actually had something here we needed. Uh, Jessica's making like an Olive Garden chicken Instapot meal, and we wanted to find some breadsticks. That's the only thing they got. No garlic bread or nothing but those. So, hey, win for us today. I saw that and it was like the light was just kind of glaring on it. I'm like, that's perfect. That's the one thing that we needed today. Now I don't have to go to another store. One thing I wanted to talk about for just a second, they have been putting it out all over local news stations. You guys have mentioned that uh, local news stations in your area have been talking about the supply chain and all that stuff. It's like, are they just now watching some of these videos? Like, why weren't they talking about this back in October? Lots of missing items here, unfortunately. Target's got to be having a lot of trouble getting this stuff in. I mean, if everybody else is, if all the major grocery chains are having some trouble getting stuff in, I'm not surprised at all here. Um, I guess the Gorton's food truck made a stop here, though. They do have a couple different options we didn't see before. Now, as you guys may have known from our last video, me and Jess did get the fish. 
And I gotta say, it wasn't good at all. We, we've said we're gonna go back to Vanda Camps for a while because, I don't know, Gordon's was out for over a month here. Now it's come back, we bought some, and it just did not taste good. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know a lot of these brands here. Uh, I do know Stouffer's though. Couple family sized meals, $8.29. We did see that that went back up at Kroger. Um, they just did not take the stickers down. They have these mega ones here. $13.99 for like a super family portion. They do have a few little spread out here, but it's all lasagna. All of it. Every bit of it's lasagna. A couple different kinds of lasagna. But lasagna is good. That's one of our favorites of Stouffer's, but not much. Some of you guys were wanting to see some more plant-based items. Uh, we usually don't buy this stuff, but uh, you guys have requested that I show some of it, so here we are. Target actually has a good amount of uh, some more healthier options. Also, I just noticed here, they have the Amy's enchiladas that one of you guys have asked about. Uh, they have a lot of different kinds here. I don't know, we may have to try one of these someday. Uh, probably a healthier option. They are out of a lot of stuff, but you know, they do have a lot of this stuff too. Uh, the Buffalo chick patties. I don't know if those are like, I'm not really sure. I don't know this stuff as well. Vegetizers. If you guys recognize any of this stuff, some of these plant-based options, you know, let me know down in the comments. It could be, there could be a way to maybe order some of this stuff online. I'm not really sure. Um, and a lot of you guys have commented that you haven't been able to find any of these meals. I will say right now, they do sell a lot of these healthy choice uh, Simply Steamers pretty much everywhere around here. I haven't seen the Power Bowls, uh, the plant-based. I, I don't know, this might be a Target thing, I'm not really sure, but they do have these here. If we gotta shop at a couple stores, that's just what we gotta do. I always try to bring out the deals so that maybe, again, it'll save you a little bit of gas so you don't have to go to that store, but obviously everywhere is different all around the country, so you may have to do that anyway. I know a lot of you guys have commented about the Kodiak Power Waffles. Now, we had seen that they had a bunch here a couple weeks ago, and now it's, it's getting empty again, and partially because a lot of places are selling out of it really quick. These must be really popular. Also, they're pretty much wiped out on Eggos. They have a couple of the minis, and those are the pancakes, which I don't really care for, but they're pretty much out of waffles. Uh, they do have some of their brand, the Good and Gather brand. Man, I'll tell you, this is just empty, man. So we did see that pizza was kind of taking a hit at Kroger the other day. I don't know if I got a lot of that on film. A lot of the stuff that I was doing this, Kroger was very crowded yesterday, so it was really hard to get around and kind of get everything down. But, yeah, I don't know. A lot of the, uh, I don't know if this is where the Totinos are. That's what I was looking for because I know a lot of you guys have been having trouble finding them. Also, we're trying to find a little bit of a better price on those because we've noticed that they've kind of shot up lately. So this is what we were talking about. They have condensed a lot of this stuff into different things uh, with different jams and jellies kind of all in this area of still low um, and peanut butter we see that they're you know the small things of peanut butter are a lot less 11.39 for the two big 40 ounces of Jif those we found that at Sam's Club for ten dollars on a normal day this bread is completely full Target is usually pretty good at keeping this small section of bread full Am I surprised to see a lot of it gone? No, not really. Um, a lot of you guys have been commenting all across the country and around the world that bread has been an issue. Also, bagels. Somebody mentioned bagels the other day. They do have some here, and honestly, I haven't seen too big of a problem around here with bagels. The one that we, uh, well, we did at Meyer. Meyer barely had any. And we've been noticing a lot of these muffins that people comment about, like the Thomas uh, muffins here that have been really low. We saw like three at Meyer too, so that's kind of funny. This look like the Campbell's Soups at Target. Stay consistent at $1.59. Never really many sales here. Although, they do sell tomato soup, and this looks like a regular price. Tomato soup for 99, tomato soup for 99 cents. And they have the, uh, the chicken noodle for 99 cents. Okay, cream of mushroom for 99 cents. 
But then you boost up here and it says $1.49. I guess they're all just a little bit different. But I mean, at least it's not like Kroger where it's like, we're going to sell all of them for $1.89. I don't know. This could be a thing where Target has some kind of deal worked out with Campbell's. Because they probably come in and fill this stuff up. So I don't know if this is always going to be the case, but they do have Progresso Soup on a regular basis, it looks like. These look like tags that are staying for $1.49 a can. Now, we've seen that they have a 10 for 10 right now at Kroger. Buy 10 or more and get them for a dollar a piece. So I would recommend going for that deal this week. It is January 13th, Thursday, 2022. Uh, so you have a few days left to get that deal at Kroger. Also, I'm not sure if that deal is still going on at Meyer, but I do know that it is at Kroger, so I would I would buy up that deal if you get a chance. Also, we saw that um, Campbell's Chunky is $1.99 at Kroger, $1.59 here. Buy four, get one free also. That's a pretty good deal. So a lot of you guys have been asking about rice, uh, particularly the Ben's Original. They do have these. $1.99 a bag sounds a little pricey, but I'm not sure... We don't usually buy Ben's Original. Um, they do have the box down there. I know a lot of you guys were asking about rice, so I wanted to show you guys all that Target had. Um, they also have a lot of dry beans down here that you guys have asked about. Huge bag of rice here for $4.99. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's see what the... 10-pound uh, bag. 10-pound bag of rice for $4.99. That's about as good of a deal as we've seen anywhere. They do have a two pound bag for $1.59 and they got smaller bags for less than a dollar, uh, kind of the same size we saw at Dollar Tree the other day. Um, and they do have a lot of different options. This is what we like about Target is you can find things here that you can't find at some other stores. And a lot of you guys have said that the Good and Gather is a good brand. So I wouldn't be afraid to try like these black beans or different kind of beans. They do have the Goya mixed in here. That's only a dollar a can. That's not bad. Uh, Pinto beans, Goya. They do have the Del Monte. As we've seen, Del Monte has gone back up in some places. Uh, it's usually $1.25 a can. So for $1.19, that's not too bad. Uh, it has been on sale at some places for a dollar. Cereal doesn't look as bad as it has in the past here at Target. But they are putting cereal everywhere they are spreading it out like crazy just to fill it up which i agree it makes it look better they could fill this up though <laughs> i will say that they do have raisin bran family size for 419 we've seen that a little better i think we saw that at big lots the other day for 330 for the family size so uh not that bad of a deal um as you guys know we've been buying the millville brand from aldi which i swear is the same thing uh, it tastes exactly the same, and it's $1.99 a box. Not as big as this one, but if you got two of those boxes, it would still be cheaper than this and probably a lot more. Okay, so here's something that I wanted to point out. This right here, this Nest, Nest Cafe Taster's Choice is a 7-ounce bottle. A lot of you guys have been talking about the instant coffee. We saw this for $10 at Kroger. Uh, for that same thing, $7.19 here, $7.19 for the French roast. Now, the Colombian of what one of you guys had talked about is a little more expensive, but it was $12 for this small thing of it at Kroger. I couldn't believe that. It was just, that's crazy expensive. A lot of you guys drink your Folgers out there. They have the 100% Colombian, the uh, classic roast, the... Um, 30.5 ounce jug of it here for $7.19. We saw this for $8.99 at Kroger. And sometimes it even gets as high as $9.99. Sometimes the 100% Colombian is a little more than the regular. But it looks like it's all $7.19 here. Some of you guys had mentioned Pete's Coffee. Uh, they do have it on sale this week at Target. $8.99 instead of $10.89. This is kind of expensive coffee. Still haven't tried it yet, but I do plan on it someday here. I'm just loaded down with coffee right now, but I will get some here eventually. Um, $8.99, yeah, that's a good deal. If you drink this, I'd hit up your local target. Chips have seemed to have made a comeback, at least for now. I know that, uh, you know, they're working this out to their advantage in one way or another. Hey, look at that. There's some peanut butter for your chips, right? This is the most chips that we've seen before Christmas. I mean, this is great to see, um, but you better believe 
they know the football games are coming up, Super Bowl's coming up, so they wanted to rush these out to the stores. And frankly, I'm not surprised. It seems like there's a method to all the madness. You guys have talked about like snack crackers going away again. Um, I don't, I don't know if we've already passed the big boxes. Normally, that's the cheaper way to go, anyways, to just buy the the regular box instead of having them individually wrapped. But they, they've got more in here than they've had in a while. I gotta say, a lot of the diced fruit and peaches and stuff like that seem pretty low but that stuff seems low pretty much everywhere hey look at this they have a few gatorades not much but they got a row a couple rows here so in this row behind me across the way they're putting up like some new shelving where their seasonal usually goes and i've noticed they're putting some foods up there i'm not going to go film over there because they're working i'm not going to bother them but i'm interested to see what they're going to put there here eventually. If you want pop, you might want to try and find it somewhere else. They're all regular price right now, $5.79 a 12-pack. We don't ever pay that much for pop. We would just rather go without. Um, they did have 12-packs at Kroger this week for uh, 3 for $12, so that might be the way to go. That brings it down to $4. I was talking about prices and stuff, and the one thing that I've noticed is a lot of the stuff that they're putting up right now, like adding to the store, prices are going up. Now, we don't drink Aquafina water. $5.29 for 24 pack of Aquafina. And you know what? Maybe I just haven't been looking so hard. I came back through the chips aisle here. And uh, $3.79 normally for these bags of Sun Chips. These were $2.99. Okay, no, yeah, they were. See? So now they're $3.29 regularly, which. Okay, I guess I've missed a couple things. You know, it happens. Um, so you can get them two for seven. Now this is the Doritos Simply Organic. Um, is this all Doritos? No, Simply White Cheddar Puffs, two for seven. Three seventy nine dollars a bag. I don't know how much those were before. But yeah, as I came back down this aisle, I noticed that the three twenty nine, dollars because we talk about the magic number, 20 cents, it's actually gone up more than that. It's gone up 30 cents. I was kind of curious when I came to the chips aisle. You know what? I just remembered that I didn't go over the prices of the chips at Kroger yesterday. So next time I go to Kroger, I'll have to check Doritos and stuff. I'm seeing right here Doritos. Doritos are regularly $3.99 now. And these were probably $2.99 before. I, I know that because I don't spend more than $3 for a bag of chips. So uh, I'm pretty sure they were $2.99 at Kroger. Uh, could be a little while ago. Haven't bought chips in a while. Uh, but these are also two for seven. They try to make that. I guess that's the, the new norm for chips. We'll have to keep our eye out. But that would explain why they're able to get so many in because Doritos and these companies have been working on their prices. Might have added an ounce, might have subtracted an ounce. I honestly don't know. The bags look the same size. Uh, we'll just have to keep our eye on all this stuff and check your receipts at the end of the day. Basically through all this, Target has been the place to find cat food. I will say they still have quite a bit. They are out of a lot more than they normally are here, which it could just be finally hitting them and they're not able to get as much in, but this has always been another option for cat food. And again, I will say that if you are having trouble getting cat food, try Chewy.com, order online. May just be the way to go for now. Um, otherwise, check your local Target because they always seem to have, every time, every time I come in here, they do have some. Okay, so I wanted to come over and check the dog food too. Um, they do have a lot of the blue dog food. I don't see any of the pedigree or Alpo, um, but I wanted to show they do have the giant pedigree bags um, a lot of you guys were asking about this saying that it was uh, going away at some of your stores we saw that it was very low at Kroger yesterday but it does look like Target is a pretty reliable source for pet food yeah we are unfortunately starting to see some dog food they do have it right they do have it they have some um, which I know some of you guys were talking about the pedigree cans the wet food uh, they do have some Alpo up here uh, and this is always an option, um, but they are, you know, starting to run low on a lot of the the little dog Caesar packets that you guys always ask about. Um, they do have some. Uh, so again, Target does seem like a pretty 
reliable source to at least find some. Well, that was our trip to Target today. Uh, for the most part, it looks about the same. Not as empty as it was a couple weeks ago. They have filled in a lot of stuff. I'm kind of curious. I kind of might have missed some of the new stuff they were bringing in to see if some of those prices uh, had gone up some. Probably while I'm editing, I'll be able to see some of that. So freezer aisles are wiped out. I was glad to see milk there and uh, a lot of the cheeses and produce and stuff like that's kind of hit or miss a target all the time um and yeah they need to kind of fix some of the prices and stuff they just kind of have things thrown about but you know that's okay at least there's people in there working so a lot of people stocking up stuff putting stuff away it was really good to see uh, a lot of good awesome people working here at target i uh, really appreciate all their help every time i ask a question somebody is sure to, to have an answer or find someone that does well guys thank you so much for joining me today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there.